Hello, I'm JW. Uh, this uh, quick video is just to look at this device here, which is used to test various things with a fairly high current. And well, this is basically an old welder. And uh, just have a look on the top here. So we've got the uh, yellow leads, which are the output. And then we've got the black lead here, which is the mains input. Now this is a uh, 32 amp plug here, just takes the normal 240 volt input there. It's actually an MK1, just if I see the label on the side there. And so that just plugs into the normal main supply, well, obviously a 32 amp circuit. And then uh, the uh, output is on those two yellow wires there at the bottom. And on the top here you can see we've got the actual various settings there. Obviously this is designed for welding, but uh, nevertheless it uh, does for other things. And it's just a question of lifting that control to the various points, which will select the various output current. Now I've got the three terminals here. The middle one is sort of the common, and you've got 50 volts and 80 volts on the other side. And that's basically open circuit voltage. And uh, again, that does relate to the different currents on the front there. And the two ends, uh, again, basically for welding purposes, that's one where the welding rod would go in. And then the other one is the ground lead there, or the ground connection. I'll just clamp onto the uh, sort of metal that you were actually welding there with those large clips. Now this is quite a heavy machine, uh, see it's quite a substantial box there, and that's actually oil filled. So as well as having the massive weight of the transformer, it's uh, filled with many litres of oil as well, and that's mainly for cooling purposes. Now the incoming flex there, that's actually 3 core 4 square millimetres, so 3G4 out the end there. And this is a rubber coated variety as well. When I actually got this, it came with a nasty bit of PVC flex, and someone had put a 13 amp plug on the end, so of course that was useless as it blew the fuse pretty much every time you attempted to switch it on. Now the output current of this is fairly accurate, so it does usually correspond reasonably well to the options given on the setting plate there. And it's uh, selecting inside, it's actually a transformer, which uh, has the output terminals there, so they are the 50 or 80 volts. And that's an open circuit voltage, obviously when you connect it to something the voltage uh, drops considerably. And the current is actually chosen via having a ballast inside, or basically a uh, reactor if you want to call it that. And it's got multiple taps on, that's actually what you're selecting when you're turning the handle there. And essentially that just limits the current to the values selected. So you so set that to sort of 90 as it's set there. Then if you short the two leads on the output together, you'll get about 90 amps flowing through there. And of course, correspondingly for all of the other options there as well. So it's quite a straightforward device. Uh, essentially, it's just a transformer in a big box of oil. I uh, won't be opening it because uh, there you can undo the bolts on the top there, theoretically. The transformer and the whole of the workings inside is actually attached to the lid. So uh, it would need some kind of hoist or crane thing to actually lift it. As obviously, once you've lifted it up, you can't actually put it down anywhere because obviously it would damage the components on the back. And aside from being very heavy, I say it is uh, immersed in oil, so you'd have all kind of oil dripping down and making a mess as well. But uh, essentially it's just a transformer and a uh, variable tapped inductor inside, so not a huge amount to see there. Now uh, you can get these uh, in various places, obviously they haven't been made for many years, but they can be obtained uh, fairly cheaply from a variety of second-hand type places. Uh, this one was only £40. So uh, quite a cheap thing to obtain, but obviously if you are going to get one of these from eBay or wherever, do make sure that it's local to where you are. Certainly don't want to be having this thing delivered because that would cost far more than the thing itself is worth. And there's not a lot to go wrong in these. Basically, say it is just a transformer. And say so this particular one had to have a new mains lead fitted. Again, that was the only real thing that was uh, wrong with it, and the rest of it uh, pretty much uh, as it was supplied. So fairly useful things. And uh, if you are going to get one of these, make sure it is one of the older types with just a transformer in, as uh, all modern welding equipment uh, generally is stuffed full of electronics and all kind of other stuff, which though it's very handy and useful for welding, it's uh, completely useless for the purposes of uh, just testing things out with a very high current. So uh, that's pretty much it for this one. So until next time, thanks for watching.